So for most science subjects, there has been a shift from more rote learning to more application-styled questions on the final exam. And one of the most common types of application questions involves experimental design. So words such as accuracy, precision, reliability, errors, variables, etc. Hopefully these ring a bell because these concepts can be applied to any topic. And since there's not a great focus of these in class, it's important to master these skills before your final science exams. And I'm gonna share with you a resource that I came up with that really helped me solidify my understanding in these concepts. And this will be for chemistry, but you can still take parts of this and use it for other sciences such as biology or physics. So let's check it out. So I set up a document like this. First, I had a table summarizing the definitions of these four key terms. So accuracy, precision, reliability, and validity, as well as how to test them and improve them. And this is because most questions I ask you about these four boil down to the same basics. And that will either come down to the definition or how to improve them. And the way I came up with one of these tables is I first looked at the textbook as well as my class notes, but then I started looking at exam questions and how examiners worded their answers for these areas. So after looking at almost all the official VCAR papers, as well as some company papers, I summarized these concepts down to this table. And this might not be perfect. I actually only started this a few weeks before my exam. And if I had to go back, this was definitely one of the things that I would have spent more time on because on the exam, there were definitely these types of questions. And then scrolling down, you can see that I had a sort of cheat sheet just for defining all the key terms involved in experimental design. And then going below even further, in chemistry, we have key topics such as galvanic cells, rates of reaction, all the way down to titrations, etc. And for each topic, I would come up with a mini experiment where I would list out the variables, potential areas, and how we would improve accuracy, validity, precision, all that. And basically what I like to do is to set up a mini experiment or EPI, as well as any other common exam questions. So things like assumptions made in your experiment or errors, safety concerns, etc. And I found this a great way to study because it covers all the topics through the lens of experimental design. So you'll be able to see how accuracy, precision, all of this relates to each topic in your entire course. And since not a lot of people specifically focus on this stuff, it's a very good way to stand out in your final exam as well. But overall, the main message is to come up with an approach that is tailored towards an area that is becoming more and more prevalent in the final exams. So that is the video. Thanks for watching and take care.